This is Jeff from Airstream Nerds. About a week ago, I got an email from Logic Blue, the makers of the Level Mate Pro, stating that they had a new version coming out and they would give me a discount, um, all previous owners a discount on this version um, to replace the old version. There are supposedly some technology changes in there, um, but what I have found mostly is there is now an on off switch. So let me open up and we'll compare sizes. All right, so it's open up now and it is identical in size to the old one. Um, again, there's an on off switch on the side here. When you power it on, it beeps to let you know it is powered on. But other than that, um, I'm it's it's essentially the same thing now I like the on and off switch a lot mainly because when we're parked even though it goes into sleep mode it has to run off the battery a little bit in order for it to wake up um, it has to know when to wake up so the original device would run the battery down um, just sitting in your driveway or in storage or wherever so you start off on your camper, add this to your checklist, you flip this thing on, drive down the road, get to where you're going, level it up. You're at the campground already. Heck, you can turn it off. You don't need it anymore. Unless you use the hitch memory, which I don't. So, anyway, let me open it up and see what it looks like. Alright, so the inside has been updated. Um, as you can see, it uses the same, same battery, uh, a standard 2032 um cr battery um it comes with a little pack the little the screws to attach to the wall um circuit board is a little bit different with the on off switch down here um i'm not sure i'm not a circuit engineer so i'm not sure what everything is it looks like it could be some sort of buzzer or some sort of something like that um this one may have it on the other side um who knows but so there is definitely some engineering changes. Some of it could be just to save some money. Maybe the board's a little cheaper. Looks like there's a programming port here. Not sure how this one is. Um, but anyway, um, I'm psyched for it just because the on-off switch. Um, turn it off. I'm still going to replace the battery every year along with my sensors for the propane, along with the smoke detector batteries, and anything else in... in in my um, camper that has batteries I'm going to change as part of my dewinterization every spring um, even if the batteries aren't dead still think it's a good idea to make sure you have fresh batteries and everything before you start off on your camping season right, I'm going to put this thing back in luckily it uses it is the same exact size so it's going to use the same screw holes as before I'm going to go ahead and, and put it in I'm going to program it um, I did connect the old one and just so I wouldn't have to remeasure everything and remember anything, I wrote down the eight or nine settings that were part of part of the original install. That way, when I go to do it, uh, I won't have to go back out and measure and do all that. Now, I'm going to put this on, and I will... We're, we're going away this weekend, so I'm actually going to show it in use as I uh, get pulled into the campground uh, this weekend. Okay, so at this point, I moved up a little bit on them, and I've got about another inch to go to make it level. As you can see, as I change, it tells me I'm a little... high but then when I let go of the brake it moves forward a little bit and that makes it pretty much half an inch to a quarter of an inch I think I can live with that anyway it's pretty simple leveling it 
don't really need as long as I'm not four inches I think I'm good um, right now still have to bring the, the front the front down four inches but I also have to unhook and all that so that'll adjust when I'm all uh, when it's all said and done anyway this is Jeff from Airstream Nerds see you on the next trip <laughs>